another video and if this is your first time here my name is Melvin if you guys look at our past videos it's all about bus building and all that stuff because my wife and I are currently building out a bus but this video is going to be different and as you can tell by the title yes I am going hunting I want to show you guys how heavy the pack and myself are going to be so first things first let's see how much I weigh right now and I did have some food so 219.2 pounds and now I'm gonna put on the shoes that I'm gonna be wearing and I'm also gonna have my binos and my rangefinder and my bow but I'm not gonna have that on me and I think altogether is probably seven to ten pounds maybe even twelve not sure but now let's uh, see how much I weigh with the pack and this pack is filled and ready to go right, so the pack is on and I'm also filming something so all this weight doesn't even have my camera stuff yet and like I said my bino and my bow and my range finder. so this is how much everything weighs right now damn so that's about a 45 pound pack we're gonna leave tomorrow morning so we'll see you guys on the road the road we've been on this road for like an hour and a half two hours we saw about six deer and now we see these javelina tracks and I'll show you guys what they look like so you guys see this right here how it kind of has like a little curve to it that's a javelina track so you got there there and there which means they're going this way but we're gonna be camping that way so it means they're here in these little wash areas so Hopefully we come out victorious. Alright, so we just got to our little site right here. I fletched my arrow, so now I gotta test it out. This is at 20 yards. Make sure this is good. So I'm switching to the GoPro. We are ready to go. We're leaving the truck. Each of us have, well, me and Colin have about 65 pounds each. There's his. And then we got my buddy Willard over here being a freaking rock star. Has how many liters of water? Like eight? Six or eight? Four, eight, about ten. Ten liters of water plus a pellet gun and a bow and his other goodies. And his is at 90, 91 pounds. 91 pounds. And we're about to go up that hill. Let's do this. A few moments later. All right, guys. So we finally made our camp. It's been how long? You think? Two, three hours. Two hours. So our vehicles over that area over there. We ended up hiking up here, pretty much to the top of this. And then we realized that it was too windy, so we're in this kind of little saddle, and we had to clear it out because 
where is it? There's a lot of cow poop that was around here. So we ended up clearing it out. And then now we're about to go down to where the wash is. And uh, we got the pellet rifle, bang, right there. And then we're gonna try to see if we can get some quail or possibly even see some javelina. So we'll see you guys when we're at the bottom. morning everyone welcome back day two of this hunt yesterday was super exciting and uh, there's actually a lot of cows on this area there's a lot of uh, free-range cows which is pretty cool no we can't hunt them today is a new day so we all split up yesterday when we were down in the wash where we saw those tracks Willard is down there right now he's setting up a blind his brother Colin is gonna be on this side of the mountain 
and he's gonna push left on that wash. I'm gonna be just over this hill, and as the day goes by, if I don't see anything, I'm gonna push right, because we see tracks all over it, so let's get to our spot. Everybody, so it's almost noon. Uh, I did see two deer, that was pretty cool. And uh, I saw a rabbit. The rabbit was like 23 yards, I think. Yeah, it was like 23 yards. And uh, we were gonna have that for dinner, but not tonight. Now I'm at the spot right here, it looks pretty nice. So I just glassed this whole area for about an hour and um, I did see a deer, but it was just the does like over there, way all the way over there. Right now I'm about to head down scan the wash areas because uh, that's where the javelina came up from yesterday afternoon late afternoon hopefully there's more signs because when i was up here uh, right now i'm at around 4,000 foot elevation and when i was at around 38 to well 35 to 3,800 feet there was a lot of signs of javelina on that elevation and so i ended up staying up here for a while i traversed this whole like mountainside right here like came up and down up and down for I don't know, about an hour or two, just seeing if there was more, um, see if there was a chance to see in Havelina, and I didn't, but there was a lot of signs. So they're here, but we just gotta find them. We saw two of them yesterday, and like I said, they travel in groups, so hopefully we get to see more, but it's pretty nice, and uh, this view's, this view's amazing. Alright guys, correction. Long story short, they made a decision to hunt the flats because we're too inland. So we're about to go head over to a different section and uh, we'll see you guys there. fixing up our stuff right now and GoPro's not working well but we're at a new spot as you guys can tell it's less mountainous which means we'll have an easier time picking out where the javelina was yesterday when we were driving in we saw seven we saw about I think seven javelina just crossed the road and they were huge so hopefully we get to see them today and uh, there's a lot of rabbits and quail that we can also shoot so we'll see you guys when we're up on the mountain and uh, hopefully we tag out today how these one goes. freaking mountain right here we went up that thing and 
Colin got up to 75, around 75 yards, and they kept on going. And by the way, Willard just sent us a text of an arrow with blood on it. So we might be having mule deer tonight for dinner. We'll see you guys in a bit. That's good. <laughs> Is that good inside cooked? Yeah, that's the way you want it. Yeah, you don't want to overcook it. Wow. It's very like, it, it kind of tastes, uh, the texture is kind of like, uh, what do you call it? Like the softness is like uh, chicken thighs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That was good. I would recommend this. Good. 10 out of 10. And we looked at the reports online and it says that javelina usually are chilling around the afternoon but when the afternoon starts like around two three ish then that's when they start moving again and we're gonna go on this road i don't know if you guys can see there's a road that goes down to this place where when we were driving up here tuesday night we saw like seven of them so we're gonna head down there because a bunch of reports also say that if you see javelina they usually stay within a mile from where they're at so Gonna go back to where we first saw him. Hopefully we catch two of them today. Let's get down there. It feels I 
like in a railroad station. 